Hey guys, how are you doing? Today's review is on Bentin Air Fit UV Defense Sun Cream in SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So this sunscreen claims to be cooling, moisturizing, calming, non-sticky, lightweight, has a rosemary essential oil scent and it leaves no white cast on any skin tone. This is what the packaging looks like. And when you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like. So let's see how this is going to apply at the back of my palms before I go on to apply it to my face. Okay, this is lightweight. Mm -hmm. Really creamy. This is cooling, I must say. And I can see a slight purple tint on the back of my palm. Can you guys see anything? So with sunscreen and without sunscreen, do you see a difference? Let me know in the comment section. So it's time to apply it on my face. I have my measuring spoon here. Links to purchase this will be in the description box as well as the sunscreen. Full. I don't know if you guys can see the color of the sunscreen. It has a mint green color. I find it cute. Let me blend this. So I'm going to let that sink in, then I'll come back to blend. Let me just take a tad bit for my neck area. This time I won't use a spoon, I'll just eyeball it. I'm going with this much. So for the front and the back. Bring it down to your neck, just basically where it's exposed. And the rest goes on my hands. Then I'll blend this one in again. Okay, so I'm done blending and this is what I have. I don't know if you guys can see it. I do have a tad bit of cast going on here. It's definitely wearable. I want to show you guys what it looks like with natural light. So you just saw what my face looks like with natural light. The cast is not obvious whatsoever, but it's there. So if you're like deeper than I am, you may, you know, see a slight purple tint on your skin, but it's totally wearable in my opinion. However, if you're lighter than I am, you have no problem with this sunscreen. It's going to just blend in nicely into your skin. Um, the texture of this sunscreen is slightly thick. And um, when you blend it into the skin, it's just, you know, goes in really nicely, lightweight. It's cooling, calming at the same time and moisturizing. I really do like the color of the sunscreen. I like how it feels. Weirdly, I like the cooling sensation, but you just have to be careful so this doesn't get around your eye area. It could sting your eyes. It's not stinging my eyes right now, but you know, just be careful. I like the finish it leaves my skin. There's a glow to it. It's not shiny or greasy whatsoever. So all skin types can use this and feel comfortable in it. It's giving me that Toboco vibe. Um, that's the Toboco Bio Watery Sunscreen. I'm getting the same vibe in terms of the shine. In my opinion, it's not the same feeling on the skin, but in terms of the shine it gives or the glow, um, I'm getting about the same thing. It's wearable. I'm going to see how this is going to look like when I try to reapply it in two hours, which I'll show you guys. So what type of sunscreen is this? This is a chemical sunscreen. The sunscreen filters are 
you've ignored A+, you've ignored T150, you've asked up HEB and Tinosop M. So this is one of the sunscreens that I've used that contains Tinosop M that the white cast or purple tints is not much. Um, I think the new sunscreens I'll be posting soon, you're going to see how that leaves me with a much more cast. So even the previous ones I have reviewed has way more cast than this one. This sunscreen also contains niacinamide, Sika, Parthenol, Tocopherol, ETC. So who is this best recommended for? According to the brand, it is non-comedogenic tested and it is suitable for those who have acne prone skin. They also stated that you can, you know, decide to skip a moisturizer to apply this sunscreen. I feel like you're trying to say this is for all skin types. So if you have oily skin, you can actually skip a moisturizer and apply this. But I really want to see what the reapplication will be like. That would determine if I would recommend this for those who have oily skin or just stick to those who have normal to dry skin as well as combination skin. So this sunscreen retails for $21 for 50 ml. I got mine for $9. Links to purchases will be in the description box. You guys know I always give you like the cheapest places to get sunscreen. So make sure you shop through the link. I do make a tiny bit of commission when you shop through the link. So thank you in advance as you support me. Does this contain fragrance? This smells like... Um, It smells like close-up herbal toothpaste. Yeah, that exact herbalness, you know, mint and herbal at the same time. That's what I get when I smell this. Does this sting the eyes? It may likely sting you because of how minty it is, but I have, you know, done this and nothing has occurred. So just bear in mind, because of how minty it is, it could sting or if it gets into your eyes, it could burn. Okay, so I'm going to have to leave now and I'll be back in two hours to show you guys what my face looks like and reapply before I give you guys my final thoughts. So guys, I am back. It's been about two hours, 10 minutes and here's what my face looks like. I don't know how obvious it is, but I'm much more shiny on my forehead nose area and my cheeks also this has settled into my neckline can you guys see it so how do i reapply sunscreens when i'm indoors or outdoors i will you know dab my face with paper towel put on a spray sunscreen or go on with you know the cream sunscreen i actually use more spray sunscreens when i'm out Mainly because I don't want to have to like, you know, rub anything with my palms. And for that sake, I use a La Roche Posay um, face mist. So right here, my hands are clean. I'm going to use this paper towel to dab any excess shine. And you guys will actually see what I mean. Starting off with this side. So the shine on this area is gone as opposed to here. So here's what my face looks like after using a paper towel. My skin feels soft. I'm just going to go in with the sunscreen and uh, I have my spoon here. Normally when I'm out, I don't, you know, use the spoon. I just eyeball it and apply. Okay, so now to take a bit more from my neck. Also eyeball this. This is what I look like after reapplication. And there's a tad bit of cast like, you know, before. Um, it's a little more than before, to be honest, because I can, you know, really see what it looks like. Maybe I should take you guys outside to see what it looks like. oily skin you may just be like on the fence i don't know how you'd really feel with this one if you like a glow to your sunscreen like to have like a shine on your skin not greasy but lightweight this is definitely going to do same to your skin so if you like that you can definitely pick this up 
Overall, I recommend this to those who have normal to dry skin as well as combination skin because I do have a combination skin and I don't mind the shiny leaves my skin even now. But I feel like if I actually go out when it's really, really sunny, this may be a lot more, should I say, shiny on my skin as opposed to what I have right now. It's hot, but I'm indoors. So maybe I just step out to get something and that's it. But if I actually go out, go out. This will be a different story. Will I repurchase this? To be honest, no, I won't. I'm here for like sunscreens that will leave my skin with a matte finish. But I'm happy I have all these ones, mainly because I'll use them for, you know, winter. I really like, you know, my skincare that I use in winter to be a lot more moisturizing. So I don't really have a problem with it right now. So overall, not bad. If you are darker than I am, expect this to leave a sort of cast on your skin due to it in a sub m so that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching and do have a wonderful wonderful week